I mentioned in an earlier video that you can add effects such as reverbs and delays on each individual track in a session. However, there are many advantages to applying effects such as reverbs and delays to your tracks by using sends and auxiliary inputs as an effects return. Let's first cover the general idea of how this works. All tracks except for master faders have a send section. You can add a send by clicking on one of the available sends and choosing an available bus. The send allows you to choose how much signal from the track you want to send to a bus. An auxiliary input track receives the signal from the send through its input. The auxiliary input track has the effect as one of its inserts. The effect is set to 100% wet, so in the case of reverb, 100% wet means you would only hear the resonating space the reverb is emulating, where 0% wet would only output the original signal being fed into the insert. Therefore, 100% wet will only output the effect. The original dry signal mixes with the wet signal at the master output. Because the setup leaves the dry signal as is and only adds the additional effect to the original signal, it is important to understand what inserts are best for this type of routing. It works for any time you would like to mix a processed signal wet with the original audio dry. Some great examples include using it for reverb, delay, chorus, and others. So let's go ahead and apply this routing to this project. So in this project, it is very dry. We don't have any effects. I'm going to go ahead and play this back for you. So if I solo, for example, the arpeggiator, you can hear how dry that track is. So we are going to add a reverb and a delay into this project. So I'm going to work in the mix window here. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is add a send. Now, if you don't see the send section here in the mix window, then what you want to do is come down to the mix window view selector and just make sure that you have sends A through E or F through J, that you have at least one of them checked. And after you've done that, just come up to the send section here, click on an available send, and we're going to go to bus and I'm going to go ahead and choose bus five and six because it's available. Any of the ones that are being used are going to be that darker orange color. And so I'm going to rename bus five and six by right clicking on the bus and choosing rename. And I'm going to call this reverb. And now the next step is to create an auxiliary input. And I'm going to do this on a Mac by pressing command shift and to bring up the new tracks window. On a Windows machine, you can press Control shift n to bring up this window. And then I'm just going to choose Stereo, Auxiliary Input, and choose Create. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this track to the end of the row. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to choose the input for this auxiliary input. And so I'm going to select the same one that I'm using for the send. And then we need to add the reverb effect on here. I'm going to use air reverb, and I'm going to choose a preset. I'm going to use medium hall. And I want to make sure that this effect is set to 100% wet, which it is. And then I want to solo save this auxiliary input by pressing Command and clicking on the solo button. On a Windows machine, you'd want to hold down Control when you click on the solo button. And then I'll rename the track to Reverb. OK, so now as I play back this track, I'm going to increase this fader on the send. As I do this, we should hear the reverb coming from the auxiliary input and the original sound from the original track. Okay, so perfect. It works. So let's go through this process one more time to add a delay. So I'm going to choose this next available send. 
I'm going to choose 7 and 8. I'm going to rename that to 8th delay. I'm going to create another auxiliary input. I'm going to solo safe it. Choose the 8th delay for the input. And then I'm going to use the mod delay 3, which comes with Pro Tools. And I am going to use an 8th note preset. And I know it's 100% wet because of these sliders. And I'm going to rename the auxiliary input to 8th delay. And let's go ahead and listen to it. So I'm going to bypass the reverb send first, and I can do that on a Mac by pressing Command and clicking on the send. And Windows users can do the same thing by holding down Control and clicking on the send to mute it. You can also right-click on a send and choose mute. And so let's go ahead and listen to this while I turn up the fader. Okay, perfect. Now one thing that can seem a little confusing at first is the fact that I can send these effects into each other. So for example, I would like my delay to have reverb on it so that it sounds like it is echoing far away. So in this case, I will need to add a send on the delay track and send it to the reverb track. Okay, so I do this by creating a send on the delay track and assigning it to the reverb bus. I will go ahead and increase the volume of the send, and now let's listen for reverb on the delay. You could hear that now there's reverb on my delay, although there was not reverb on the dry signal. So now I'm going to go ahead and unmute this send so that we can hear the reverb as well. All right, great. Now, if I want to add reverb across a lot of tracks, then I'm going to select all of my tracks, and I want to unselect for now my my auxiliary input that I'm using for summing my drums together. And I unselect it up by holding down Command and clicking on the bus to unselect it. And so on a Mac, I'm going to hold down Option Shift. And on Windows, this would be Alt Shift. And then if I add Ascend onto one of these tracks, so I'll choose Reverb, you'll see it added Reverb across all of my tracks I had selected. And I'm going to do the same thing for delay, just so I have that option. Now, by default, the volume's going to be all the way down on these. So we can actually view these sends as mini faders by right-clicking on the send arrow and checking the sends that we would like to have expanded. Now, expanding all of your sends as mini faders is a Pro Tools 11 feature. In Pro Tools 10 and earlier, you can view one send across all tracks as a mini fader at a time. So here, as I play the track back, I can now dial in reverbs and delays and choose how much I want of each. So if I go to my shaker, I can add some reverb there, um, maybe on my snare drum. Could add some reverb on that as well. And I'm going to go ahead and play back the track and just dial in some of these. 